everybody, I am Nico D. Recently I've got a new uh, single board computer, it's this one, the Asus Tinkerboards. Uh, the specs are really great, it's got 2GB of uh, DDR3 RAM and uh, the processor is a quad-core 1.8GHz, so it should be really fast. I've got some other uh, single board computers like this one, uh, the Oldroid C2, uh, it also has got 2GB of DDR3 RAM and a uh, uh, standards, the CPU is a uh, quad core uh, at 1.5 gigahertz, but I've overclocked it to 1.75 gigahertz, so it should be really comparable with the Tinker boards. I also have got the Raspberry Pi 3B to compare it with. I also have got a Raspberry Pi 2B and some Raspberry Pi Zeros, but I will not compare these uh, with the Tinker boards because uh, they are not really comparable. I use these uh, computers as uh, video editing and video rendering uh, machines uh, when traveling. Uh, last trip I used the Oldroid C2 to make all my videos and uh, it did really well. So uh, I will uh, see if the Tinker boards can do any better than the Oldroid C2. Uh, so here we go. So here I am at the Oldroid C2. I've made a collection of some videos. Some in uh, 1080p and some in uh, 720p. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, videos of 10 minutes long, uh, one in uh, 1080p and one in 720p, and uh, I'm gonna put in some uh, effects. Uh, I'm gonna do the same uh, for every computer and then render it, and uh, I'll see how long it takes. Uh, for this, I am gonna use Caden Live. Uh, Caden Live works on all three the microcomputers, so uh, it will be very good comparable. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use uh, the Big Bunny video. It's uh, at 1080p. It's a bit longer than uh, 10 minutes. So first I'm gonna cut it at precisely 5 minutes. Here 5 minutes and then I'm gonna drag the second part uh, 20 seconds uh, before that, so to 440. Yes, okay, here. <laughs> then I'm gonna put in an effect, uh, a dissolve effect. Then at 6 minutes, yes, I'm gonna put in another effect, I'm gonna drag it to 550. And uh, no, not this off. I had this off, so uh, let's do difference. Okay, uh, we're a bit over 10 minutes, so I'm gonna cut it at 10 minutes and uh, drag the second part uh, back and uh, put in an overlay. Okay, um, and then uh, I'm gonna put in another file, uh, what I just recorded. So uh, it's a bit heavier for uh, the machine. This will be very heavy for uh, these machines uh, at 1080. Uh, they're not made for uh, it. It works very well with the uh, 720, but uh, 1080 is going to be very heavy for them. So uh, it's going to take a long while, but uh, it's going to test them very good. So uh, I'm going to put in another effect here. Um, okay, a difference effect. Okay, that's it. So now we've got 10 minutes uh, of uh, video. Oh, it's a bit over 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut it. So we've got 10 minutes of video, so now I'm going to save it and uh, restart the computer because that's very important uh, because uh, when editing you use a lot of RAM and uh, if you restart then you can uh, start clean. The Oldroid has been restored, uh, so now let's start rendering. I've opened up the, the project. Um, I'm gonna do everything at the same bit rate, uh, everything CBR H264 uh, uh, with every computer, so uh, now let's start rendering. This is gonna take a long time, so uh, I'll be back when it's finished. So the uh, old rate finally finished. It took uh, 1 hour and 43 minutes. So that's a long time, but uh, uh, don't forget it's uh, a video at 1080p. And uh, for a single board computer that's uh, pretty okay. Um, the problem was uh, 
the first half uh, it went very fast, but uh, then it went over uh, the RAM usage uh, and it had to use the f swap file and uh, that slowed down uh, the process. Uh, you can see that the CPUs aren't uh, used to the max. So uh, that's a little problem uh, when you have large projects uh, in video rendering. So here I am now at the uh, Tinker board. Uh, I do not use uh, Tinker OS because I had problems uh, installing uh, Caden Live uh, on it. Uh, there were plugins uh, that weren't installed and uh, when I installed those uh, it still didn't work. So uh, luckily I found uh, a Lubuntu uh, distribution on the Tinker board forums, uh, very good site, uh, and so uh, with this I can use uh, Kden Live. So now I will do the same as uh, on the Udroids and uh, I will show you the results. So here's the result of uh, the Tinkerboard. The Tinkerboard did it in 1 hour and 12 minutes, so that's uh, a half hour faster than the Oldroid. Uh, I'm actually surprised by that. Uh, I didn't expect it, but the Tinkerboard overheated a lot, uh, so I needed a big fan. Uh, after uh, above 70 degrees it uh, throttles a lot. So uh, I used this big fan. Uh, also the Tinkerboard used a lot less uh, memory, so maybe that's the reason why it got uh, that much faster. Next time I will do it uh, in 720p uh, and I will also do uh, the Raspberry Pi 3B then, but uh, for uh, 1080p the Raspberry Pi 3B isn't uh, capable enough, uh, it would take hours and uh, I've had enough of it for now, so uh, we know the Tinkerboard is faster but the Tinkerboard overheats uh, the Oldroid C2. Uh, didn't need an extra cooling or so the Tinkerboard really needs uh, extra cooling. So uh, that's uh, my conclusion. Bye. Thank you for watching.